to the Lightworker Society. My name is Ayoka Yamina, and I am the creator of this wonderful community. Good morning to you guys. I decided to start my reading a little early today because my days be so stretched out and so full. I end up reading way in the wee hours of the night, and I need to start getting to bed on time, you guys. Like, I don't get eight hours of sleep. I might get four, maybe five a day. So I want to start trying to create a routine, um, more structure, more discipline for myself. But I do thank you for tuning in, for being a part of the Lightworkers community. Thank you for subscribing, liking my um, social media pages. I greatly support all of the referrals for personal readings and um, the love offerings. You guys are amazing. Like literally, I've been, I'm really truly blessed. That's all I'm trying to say. I'm, I'm truly blessed. Um, God has been really good to me and my angels as well during this journey. Um, so I won't complain, but before I get started, I'm going to do a twin flame reading. So we're just going to do another energy check-in to basically see what's going on. I'm allow spirit to just pretty much lead me. So it's not going to be, you know, a directed message to a certain topic. I'm just going to pull a card and we're going to go from there, you guys. I'm using Twin Flame Angels Numbers deck. Disclaimer, don't forget, everything in this message might not resonate with you. I know I sound like a recording, but you got to say it because there's always that one, two, or three. They got to be a naysayer. But I just ask that you keep your minds positive, stay hopeful, and if you're in the wrong energy just don't tune in because energy is very fluent and it can be felt even through the internet, okay? So make sure you're in the right mindset. Um, stay hopeful and um, yeah, I think that's about it. I don't even feel like even going into a whole lecture <laughs> about it because you guys get it. You know, you understand how this thing works. Okay, and also remember, also, these are collective readings, so everything in it might not resonate with you. If you do want a personal reading, feel free to reach out to me through um, Instagram. Click the link in my bio that will take you to all of my social media or my web pages um, that I have available where you can get to me some kind of way. Um, don't forget to subscribe again, I really appreciate it. Also, I wanted to say a little prayer or set intentions. I've already done it, but just to do it collectively, um, I think that would be a great idea. So let's see. Thank you, um, Holy Spirit, my spiritual guides, for helping me as I do this reading. Thank you for speaking through me, for helping me to deliver a message that my audience can understand and receive, and as well as take action on what it is that's being said. Thank you that the spiritual gates are closed, that nothing um, that is negative can get through, that can taint this reading in any kind of way. I thank you for protecting um, my audience and also protecting my social media space, my internet space, my home, and everything else that's related or connected to me. All right, thank you so much. Okay, so let's get started, you guys. I'm going to get some energy at some point. I've been up since 5.30. And um, so at some point in this reading, I'm going to be like, yeah. So just give me a moment to warm up. <laughs> All right, so I got three cards that I'm going to be focusing on today. Let's see. So the first one is saying a change of scenery may help to clear the mind. A short trip or vacation may be helpful. Let me tell you, I just came back from Denver probably like three weeks ago and that was the best vacation ever. Let me tell you how clear I was to be up in the mountains and um, the air was so fresh and so crisp. It felt so good. It felt like I actually lived in Denver like all my life, my past lives, I don't know. I felt like that's where I should be. Like I would literally pack my stuff and move to Denver only because um, the feeling of Denver is just amazing. I felt so connected to nature and I needed that. I've, I've never been on a vacation where I wanted to be there the whole time. 
was not anxious to get back home or anything. I was at complete peace. So for some of you, um, a change of scenery may help you. And then I have commit to being the best version of yourself and enjoy the positive impact it has on your connection. Then we have step into your senses as a way of communicating with your twin flame on an intimate level. Okay, so these are some very different cards. Um, I've never really pulled these particular ones from the deck. So I'm going to go to my tarot deck to get an elaboration on what each one is. So we both can, you know, pretty much get a breakdown. Like, all right, so what are we talking about here? Okay, so thank you, Spirit. Can you elaborate on the change of scenery? Why do you think, or why are you saying that twin flames need to take a short trip? Thank you. Get my placement good. I don't have that much space on my desk. And why do they need to commit to being their best versions of themselves? And what about stepping into your senses as a way of communicating with your twin? Can you elaborate on that, please? Okay. Got three cards for that one. All right, so I'm going to break this down the best way that I can. I thank you, Holy Spirit. Okay, so I'm just like, I've been learning tarot just recently. So it's getting there. Um, but sometimes I still have that little like, eh, what's that? <laughs> what that mean? Let me look it up. All right, so a change of scenery may be necessary. A page of pentacles came out for that page of pentacles. And... <laughs> Yeah, so basically Spirit is saying that um, this change of scenery will definitely help you with your manifestations. So you know how I was saying when I went to Denver, I just felt like, oh my God, I just opened up. I felt so clear and I felt grounded. Um, we did things like yoga. We, we hiked. We just did like really intimate, fun things while we were there. Um, me and my friends. So I went with my soul tribe. But while I was there you know, that clearing and that grounding is what helps you to manifest. Now, getting a change of scenery would definitely help you to tap into your intuitive abilities um, so you can manifest your personal goals, okay? So that is the re that is the reason why Spirit is saying that this trip needs to, need to be taken, like, completely just, even if you don't go far, even if you can't take a short trip, <laughs> I mean, a short trip would be from West Baltimore to East Baltimore. It can be at some times or going to D.C. or, um, you know, it doesn't have to be something extravagant if that's not, you know, what you can do right now because of COVID. I do understand that. Um, or even if you just take and just go sit in a, a, one of the state parks in your community or wherever you live at, um, that would actually help you and change the scenery as well. Like I love hiking. So I visit um, here, some of my favorites. So these are recommendations for you guys. I love Patasco Valley Park. Um, the one off of Rolling Road is amazing. And then um, Marriott'sville, which is also attached to Patasco State Park. So Patasco Valley State Park. Okay, so Marriott'sville and then the Rolling Road one. Drew Hill Park is absolutely amazing. They have nice little small trails you can walk through too as well and you can get connected and get grounded and you're able to be around trees and grass and animals and you know, just just life period, just so that you can get connected so you can start manifesting the goals that you want in your life. Now, when it comes to committing to being the best version of yourself, the two of swords came out. Now, someone in the connection is definitely putting on a blindfold to avoid making a decision. Now, hmm. The reason why they're avoid, avoiding it is because they feel like it could lead to a negative consequence. So apparently, this got to be your DM's um, divine masculine energy that's being picked up in this reading right now, especially when it comes to that card, because um, they're stuck in making a decision. Yeah, it's a lot to do with third party energy, okay? So they're not making a decision because of some type of third party en energy. It doesn't necessarily mean that they are in a relationship with someone else. Um, 
they just like to be sociable. They might, I mean, hey, I'm going to keep it real with you. They might just like like to kick it with different people for real. Like they might not be ready to make that type of commitment because they want to be able to still live a particular lifestyle. Um, and they feel like getting in a union or this type of relationship would um, stop them from being able to have their own personal freedom. Now I have my views about um, monogamy and to certain degrees and it's like, I mean, I've been married um, literally like eight years, been with that same person for like 20. And I learned a lot through that relationship and how we as society view relationships and we view marriage. We almost put, um, we become possessive over our significant other in a way that is very unhealthy. And especially when it comes down to um, us feeling like we don't have our own personal freedoms or our own individuality. Now that's a problem for me and I don't ever want to be in that type of situation ever again where I feel like neither one of us will be able to be who we are. You know, to be able to be who we, who we are when if I'm dealing with someone, I want you to be exactly who you are because that's why I love you or that's why I want to be with you. It's not because I'm trying to change you as a person and take your personal freedom away from you. No, I want you to be able to live your life and be happy because at the end of the day, we are all adults. Um, it's not saying to go and be, you know, reckless. It's not saying to go and be disrespectful or anything like that, but don't feel like you're in a relationship that has to be about authority and who has power over who and who can do what and when they can do it. Like, that's just not going to work for me. I'm, I'm past those outdated think ways of thinking about partnerships and relationships. Um, it's not really healthy to a certain degree. Now, as each to each his own, it's like you just have to consciously be able to make these choices and decisions together and don't allow anybody else to influence them whatever agreements that you have with your partner that's what it is it's between you two because you two are in that situation now um the eight of swords came out but it's in reverse right so they definitely um have these blindfolders on as well it's not only whatever these situations are that are taking place that's keeping them from wanting to make that full leap in. They also um, have these self beliefs about themselves that they don't think that they could um, actually fill that role. Like they're deserving of, of it. They don't feel like they deserve it um, because of so many things that have taken place in their past. It as it literally has affected their own self beliefs. Um, and that's what's preventing them from moving forward. Can you tell me a little bit more about these limiting self-beliefs? Okay, so the Hermit card came out in reverse. Let you guys see that. <sighs> The reason why they are literally um, in that, that state of mind, that doubt, is because they're not taking enough time for themselves. You know how you, um, Divine Feminines, have literally gone within to make changes within your own self. You literally take that time that you need to heal. You exercise, you do yoga, you're meditating, you're um, focusing on your life purpose, you're creating, you're just doing so much stuff for your own self to, to gain your own self-love and your own self-acceptance and healing. They are not doing the same thing. Like they have to take this time to really reflect and um, create more space for that, you know, for meditation so that they can reflect and go over what it is that they really value or what they want for themselves besides looking at this third dimensional way of thinking about you know relationships and not being able to live their life according to the way that they want to if that's how you know how that works now when it comes to step into your senses as a way of communicating with your twin flame on an intimate level the two of coins came out, but it's in reverse. And um, in reverse is pretty much saying like, <sighs> first start by, taking care of what 
you need to take care of. Like, stop juggling, literally. The, being overindulging in physical pleasures um, is a hindrance. And when you're juggling, you're not able to really listen to yourself intuitively on how or what it is that you want to say or communicate with your twin, especially when it comes to a, new, a union or intimate level. And um, this is definitely in regards to the divine masculine again. So this is definitely their energy that's coming through. Now, when they stop this juggling, then they're able to really connect and be able to speak their truth on what it is that they feel and what they want. But right now, there's a block in their communication because they're overindulging in something um, and, and not really taking care of what's right in front of them, what they already have. It's like a greed mentality, almost like I want... I want so much more. I want so much more, like, but what I have in front of me is enough. And the emperor came out in reverse, and that's the same thing. It's like they lack the discipline to um, make this commitment. They lack the discipline to do it, and, ooh, that's a lot. But, um... They're coming in as a king of wands and at the end of the day, really. They're coming in. It's like they're moving forward. They know what they want. They see it. They have a clear vision of what they want. Um, but they just need to get this juggling aspect out of the way. Now, that's a good thing because it's like, okay, I have a clear vision. That means that they know who you are to them. Even if they don't recognize it as a twin flame, they know that you are some type of soulmate, that you are connected to them in some kind of way that's different from everyone else. And um, that's a start. So it's like you keep continue to do your work. You continue to go within and really level yourself up in your life the way that you want your life to look like. That's your focus because they're mirroring you. So they have tapped in. Um, they recognize who you are. Now, they just got to get out of this um, reverse emperor energy and get out of this juggling and make some decisions. And make some decisions and realize, like, you know, I, I don't have to be handling or mismanaging, <laughs> mismanaging my, my divine thing. <laughs> so the six of coins just jumped out at me. And it's in reverse. Yeah, they mismanaging. It's like spirit is like confirming what I'm saying. They mismanaging. They reckless with their behavior. Um, especially when it comes to issues of money or if it comes to issues of sex. <laughs> That's what's on my mind, sex. That's what the issue is. It's sex. They have these issues with sex. It's not issues with it. They don't got no problem with it. They got a problem with it. <laughs> being intimate with just one person they like sex they like sex with multiple people um and the chariot came out in reverse so yeah yeah it's still talking about that not having the control um to to be able to move forward in this situation because they lack the control just like the last card said Mm-hmm. It's like this they got this disregard. Um I don't want to say disregard for you per se, but just they just have this disregard about ways of um thinking when it comes to uh relationships with the opposite sex. Cause a lot of times to me, um not to me, I'm sorry, but what's coming to me is it's about um it's not really about the connections. Mm -mm. It's not about the connections with others. It's like, this is my personal choice. I'm able to be free and do what I want and not restricted by the rules of relationships. But the judgment card has popped out and yep. Yep, because they are wrong. They rising up. They gonna rise up to it. They gonna make these life changing decisions based upon using their intuition and their intellect. Okay, so the judgment card is coming out. You're gonna get um you're gonna get that uh what you're seeking.
Let's see. Okay. Thank you. It didn't fall out. Yep. So stay in your emperor status, please, divine feminines. It came out in reverse at this time. But don't lose track of who you are. Don't lose track of yourself through this whole connection. Keep your connection strong and make self-love um a priority first remember to love on yourself and bring love to you consistently because the way this union works is like if you put too much energy and focus into your the um divine masculine they end up running right so but when you're loving yourself and you're putting that energy back into yourself and you're taking care of what you need to do then they like bam wait where where are they going like i need to get my shit together so i can keep up right so yeah basically don't don't go into that uh reverse emperor status stay in your emperor status and continue loving on yourself no matter what it is that they thinking or they feeling and what they don't want they can't make decisions and they indecisive yep that's what i say them because you gonna do what you gotta do you don't have to sit around and wait for no one even if it is a higher level soulmate you just don't have to do that you live your life and continue to move forward because that's what you um are called and destined to do to be that light in you know in the world and in, in other people's lives now um nine of wands just came out and it's talking about yeah um Boundaries, so they're learning to set some type of boundary, having resilience and courage. Hmm. Okay, I got it. So they feel like they've been set back by um, significant challenges in their life, and obviously, it, it got a lot to do with um, past relationships because the way that they actually go about these connections that they have with other people but um those challenges they had in love and relationships challenges they have with money it they feel like it's a it was a setback but they're being resilient right now um they're on the edge of exhaustion literally but it's like i still got a little bit of fight in me i still want to push a little bit further to see what's going to be the outcome because they got their hope they still are feeling um, the connection between you two, and that's why it's good um, that you are keeping up with yourself at this moment because it's causing your DM to awaken to themselves. Now, I want to go into my Moonology deck really quick. I don't know, I just felt like I needed to. Yeah, so it is going to be some positive messages coming for you guys. Because the page of wands has just appeared. They're going to bring you some positive messages. Um, it's going to be some ideas that could be potentially leading to something. Possibly. Possibly. Um, but right now, the divine is saying, like, this is a test of faith. This is a test of faith for both of you guys. Are you going to trust God? Are you going to trust the divine? Are you going to trust the universe? Are you going to trust yourself in this process? Um, because this spiritual journey is all about trusting and having faith in our creator and knowing that our lives are taken care of, everything in our lives are taken care of, and everything is working out for our highest good. So this is just a test. So it seems like there's delays on their part because they still trying to figure out what the heck I want to do with my life. But you're being tested. So don't don't um, allow the illusions or, or whatever is going on around you to take you off a of course. Just know and remember to repeat to yourself, everything is always working out for my highest good. I have everything that I need. The universe is abundant. My spiritual helpers, God supports me and loves me. I am lovable. I am safe. I am strong. I am whole. I am an empress. I am courageous. I am resilient. Okay, so remember, just repeat affirmations to yourself. I am affirmations to yourself throughout the day. If you're feeling any ounce of less than loving of yourself, remember to be gentle with yourself at all times. 
that staying in your empress status and not falling short of that because you are an extension of source, okay? We were made in source's image. We carry that energy through us. We are spiritual, spiritually connected beings to the divine. So remember that. Remember how powerful you are. Remember who you are, okay? That is what source wants us to do. And um, the Ten of Wands has come out and... I'll show you. Don't try to be everything to everyone. Don't do too much by yourself. Don't try to be everything to everyone. Take that message as, um, as you receive it because it's like, you know what it means. You can connect to it because we do try to be superwoman, superman. And we take it away from ourselves. And we can't be productive humans and live in this 3D world if we aren't spiritually fed, if we're not connected and in tune with our own higher selves. Um, it's impossible. It's impossible. We run around here like robots. And that's what I'm trying to learn how to do. Because then I talk about that in the beginning. I'm trying to learn how to balance and set my boundaries for myself because yeah it can get out of hand and, and people can cross those boundaries but if i'm if i stay in tune i'll be able to make the right decisions you know intuitively hear what it is that my angels are saying to me so i won't be taken advantage of, of and i won't feel um any type of lack or fear or worry expect powerful changes okay that's what com that's coming out of my moonology deck i just i just uh Flip the card, but expect positive changes. Now that's a good message right there to end with. Let me find my book because I don't know the Moonology ones that well. But I just got this this deck last week, but I love it because the messages that be coming out of it be like, dude, that was on point. I like that. I mean, hmm, that's gonna be the that's gonna be the title of this reading. Expect powerful changes, new moon and eclipse. All right, guys, bear with me. As I look through this book, New Moon and Eclipse, right? Okay. And then Pisces, and Earth. Okay. Got it. 94. All it does is take just a little bit of time and effort. Yeah, if you want affirmation that you can achieve your dreams or a desired outcome um, in the situation that you're asking about, which in our case would be about our twin flame, about our divine masculines, um, this is it. This is the beginning of new energy, powerful energies at work. Be prepared. It could be quite a ride. And events now could even be uncomfortable. However, any direction you take will almost lead somewhere better than where you are at this present moment. So whatever is happening now, it's happening for a reason. You'll appreciate it later on. A new portal is opening up and all you have to do is have the courage to forget about the past and move through it. You're being put back on the right path. There is nothing to fear. Ooh, summing up everything I just said. Never mind the past because life evolves every single day. Yes, yes, a thousand times yes. You are being st um, shunted towards your life purpose. Whatever is happening now is happening for your highest good. <laughs> Thank you, Spirit. This is an important turning point in your life. I'm going to end it on that note. Okay, because my spiritual health is God. Could not get any clearer than that. Keep the hope. Keep the faith, you guys. I love you. Have a wonderful day. Don't forget to subscribe to this video. And also, I'm recording my podcast at the same time. So go over to anchor.fm and look up the Lightworkers Society. And you can also listen to this message. All right, peace.